Our next speaker is Ms. Annalisa Ragnilladen of the uh, Royal Norwegian Embassy. And uh, she is a commercial counselor uh, uh, working with the cooperation program. And will be speaking today on uh, the Innovation Norway program and, uh, um, and provide some uh, information uh, on, on, some, on some points on how that might relate to energy efficiency uh, in buildings. And uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, my name is then Annelise Rognedal, and I'm the commercial counselor at the Norwegian Embassy in Bucharest. But I'm 100% dedicated to work with implementation of this uh, Norwegian cooperation program. I'm based in Bucharest, but I'm also then uh, accredited to the embassy in Sofia and covering Bulgaria as well. So I'm uh, going to share with you here today um, an appetizer of the funding opportunities through the Norwegian cooperation programs for Romania and for Bulgaria. And I will also say a few words about the important Norwegian key institutions uh, where you can get more information about Norwegian knowledge and technology related to energy efficiency. And at the end, some examples of um, interest shown in our program so far and uh, some projects that have asked or applied for funding within this sector. So Norway is then one of those uh, rare countries that do not want to become a member of the EU but we are very quick in implementing different EU directives. Uh, Romania and Bulgaria signed up for the EEA enlargement agreement in July last year. And the good thing about this is that uh, the Norwegian financial co contribution gives Romania and Bulgaria new funding opportunities and a unique chance to increase contacts, cooperation and trade with Norway. The Norwegian cooperation programs is owned and financed by the Norwegian Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The program funds are managed by Innovation Norway, which is a state-owned body based in Norway. The implementation of the programs are done in close cooperation with the Ministry of Finance in Romania and in Bulgaria, respectively. The financial frame available is 48 million euros for Romania, and 20 million euros for Bulgaria. We offer two types of projects funding, and that is for individual projects and also for seed money faci facility. And in order to facilitate for smaller projects uh, related to NGOs and social partners, we also have a special travel support scheme for that target group. The Norwegian cooperation programs offer so, uh, well, I am already mentioned that, I believe. So the amount um, uh, when it comes to individual projects you can apply for should be minimum 250,000 euros and maximum 5 million euros. For the seed money projects, the maximum grant rate will be 250,000 euros. And for the special travel support schemes for NGOs and for social partners, we offer 1,500 euros for travel, for instance, to Norway, to prepare for an application for the program. For individual projects, the general uh, principle is that the grant rate should not be more than 60% of eligible project costs. However, if the project costs are co-financed by 15% or more by a governmental budget in Romania or in Bulgaria, then the Norwegian cooperation program may offer 85% of eligible project costs. For grant assistance set up to support NGOs and the social partners, the grant rate may be up to 90% of eligible project costs. The rest of the financing has to come from other sources. The Norwegian Cooperation Programs uh, was launched in November last year and has one open call. And this means that you can um, send in your applications continuously through this year. There is a deadline for applications for seed money facility, which is the 31st May 2008. And then the deadline for individual applications is the 31st December 2008. Innovation Norway is responsible for the assessment of applications. But we will do this in con uh, consultation with the respective Ministry of Finances and the assessment time will vary depending on project size and complexity, but normally not more than four months. If the project requires a screening from the EU, then the assessment time may be longer. 
Innovation Norway can give commitments up to 30th of April 2009. And all projects must be implemented by 30th of April 2011. Expenditures occurred after this date will not be eligible. And this means that we have a very short time frame for commitment of projects and also for the implementation of the projects. The Norwegian cooperation programs have been designed to assist Romania and Bulgaria in development of some key priority sectors. One of these sectors are energy efficiency and renewable energy. Within this priority sector, several focus areas has also been defined. And in these focus areas, Romania and Bulgaria has a need for development. And we believe that Norway has the necessary technology and competence to assist in development and implementation of projects of importance for Romania and Bulgaria, respectively. Energy efficiency, as well as renewable energy, is high priority in Norway as well as in the EU. I will now mention a few uh, key institutions in Norway that is involved in this field from the Norwegian side. The first one is our Ministry of Petroleum and Energy. They actually signed a memorandum of understanding with Romania in 2004. But so far it has not been filled with too much content, I must say. So maybe there is an opportunity through this program to do so. For one of the aim is to strengthen the cooperation within the energy sector, and one of the focus areas for the MOU is energy policy and energy efficiency. The second one is the Norwegian Water Resources and Energy Directorate. They are subordinated to our ministry and responsible for administration of Norway's water and energy resources. Among other things, they also involved in cost-efficient energy systems and economic utilization of energy. A separate international department deals with international cooperation, research and development. And the third one is uh, ENOVA. ENOVA is also a state-owned company, also owner of the Ministry of Petroleum and Energy. ENOVA's main mission is to contribute to the rational use and production of energy, relying on financial instruments and incentives, to stimulate market actors and mechanisms to achieve national energy policies goal. The interest for the Norwegian cooperation programs are good and it is increasing. It is actually so good that I have to admit that we have for a period suspended the call for proposals in Bulgaria. This is due to the fact that we have a few very big projects that need to be assessed before we can go on. And in Bulgaria, we have already received applications for twice as much as we have funds available. Most of the applications in Bulgaria are related to the energy sector. For Romania, it's almost the same, as applications have been received mainly from the environmental sector and the energy sector, which is anyhow related. So the following project examples received from authorities, private entities, as well as from NGOs, shows that there is an awareness and an interest to implement activities related to energy efficiency. One project example relates to the transfer of Norwegian technology and knowledge to demonstrate energy efficient solutions in connection with rehabilitation of public buildings. Another project is to have more environmental friendly, more cost effective and less energy consumption technology related to street lightning. And we have received several proposals related to upgrading of thermal power plants and equipment related to that. We have requests for technology and competences related to several types of bioenergy as well as for metal. We have NGOs involved in energy efficiency training projects and also an NGO, NGO related to architecture. Some projects are related to mini and micro hydropower plants where we have several Norwegian uh, companies with long experience. We also have several projects, and then especially in Bulgaria, related to solar, wind, and sea wave power production. And last and not least, I would like to mention that we have projects related to eco and energy-friendly tourism projects.
I will invite you to visit our web page, which has been specially designed for the Norwegian cooperation programs. There you will find background information, all the guidelines, all the applications form that you need for applying for funds under the Norwegian cooperation programs. So thank you very much for your attention.